Hey, it's Mike with Carbonize This. Several of you have asked me to carbonize coconuts, so that's what we're gonna do today. We've got some coconut flakes, some store-bought coconuts, and then these three coconuts that a buddy brought back from the Keys. This small green one that fell off of a tree, a larger fully ripe green coconut, and then an older kind of rotten one that still has the husk in the shell. And just for fun, we've got a coconut macaroon. We're gonna prep some of these before we put them on a tray just to get rid of some of this extra moisture so they carbonize completely. Dump out that coconut milk. And we're gonna cut one in half. That's a good looking coconut. So these two are prepped. With this green coconut, it's got the husk on the outside, but it's got water on the inside that we're gonna have to drain off. If we didn't puncture this, it'd probably explode in the kiln. We've added the coconut flakes and the macaroon to the tray. Now it's time to load it up. I'm gonna add some extra wood and then fire it up. It's the next day. Let's see how the coconuts did. In our last experiment, the larger fruit did not carbonize completely. And we suspect that with the green coconut. It's still got some weight to it. So I don't think it carbonized completely. So we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna run these through a second time in our carbonizer and see what happens. I'm gonna put the coconuts in the small retort. We're gonna let this burn for a few hours and then once it cools down, we'll show you the results. Oh wow, these turned out great. <laughs> we can tell right away that these coconuts are a lot more fragile after running them through a second time. In fact, the grocery store coconut uh, that we bought has completely collapsed. The whole tray is a lot lighter than it was before. It was definitely the smart move to run them through a second time. One thing we noticed right away is there's a brilliant blue color right here on the edge of the coconut shell. Here's a little bit more blue on this shell. Now that can be from copper or cobalt or other minerals that were in the soil or even fungicides that were used on the coconut plantations. Let's see if we can pull off some of the flesh. Very brittle, very lightweight, very porous. Let's see how brittle this whole coconut turned out. Very brittle. Here's one of the coconut halves, and this is the flesh out of that coconut. Very, very light. Let's snap this in half to see what it looks like on the inside. Nice and porous. Here's the other part of it. A lot of different texture variations right here that are pretty interesting. You've got this smooth, glossy area and then a very kind of rough, flaky pieces here. On the other half of the coconut, we've got what looks like glitter on the top and then bronze here on the bottom. Let's see if we can pull the flesh out of the shell. No, they're, they're definitely stuck together. Let's see if we can get all the flesh out. Here's the shell, we've got a good look at the inside. And then there's that bronze coloring and kind of that glittery area on the outside. I've separated the shell of the coconut from the flesh and we're gonna look at these independently. Listen to this. It sounds metallic. Now these are both mostly carbon but the shell is a lot more dense and that's what's giving it the metallic sound when you drop it. Let's see what this sounds like. Doesn't have that metallic clink. And we'll crush up the flesh real quick. In fact, we can get it into a fine powder.
This is the small unripe coconut. I wonder what's inside. Oh, look at that. Let's break it open. Oh, just shattered. Look at the structure there. This really shows the structure of that unripe coconut. Here's the coconut macaroon. It's very, very tough. Let's try to snap it open. Looks like a piece of charcoal. Here are the coconut flakes. Here's the empty coconut that just has the husk and the shell. We're gonna try to take the husk off. That looks pretty cool. Let's keep going. There we go, we were able to separate the husk from the shell. Oh look, it looks like a face. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's see how the coconut husk breaks up. One of our viewers from Fiji suggested that we carbonize an entire coconut, so let's check it out. Here's the outside, a little bit of silver coloring right here. It's very, very lightweight. It was the right move to carbonize it a second time. No moisture in it. Let's see if we can crack it in half. That turned out pretty cool. Kinda looks like a giant avocado. Here's the husk, here's the shell. Let's see if we can look at the flesh. It's actually got some weight to it. It may not be carbonized. I wonder if we can get the shell open too. That's gonna be tough. I could not crack it open, so we're gonna try to saw it in half. Now oh, look at that. We're gonna put this half in here, so we've got a nice cross section of the entire coconut. So husk, shell, and flesh. On this half, you can see the shell's got kind of a bronze color. And then here you get a good cross section of the shell and the flesh. And the flesh really bubbled out this time. And that's happened before with high moisture items like the banana we did. One of our viewers mentioned that industrially, coconut husks are carbonized for filtration. You can make a lot of products out of carbonized coconut husks. You can make activated charcoal or carbon used in filtration or cosmetics. You can also make charcoal, which is used as a fuel source for cooking. And last, you can make biochar, which is a soil amendment that can be used in your garden or lawn. And that's what we do with it. So that's what happens when you carbonize coconuts. Thank you guys so much for the suggestion. This is a really fun video. If you have any more ideas, comment below. See you next time.